Hello guys, today I would like to show you how we are going to fix this Vulcan ATX flashlight. This is an industrial standard flashlight used for example by the firefighter or in the oil industrial. It's made, uh, mounted on the base, as you can see. And when it's fit on the base, it's going to recharge. And you have to press this to release and you can grab your flashlight. And the problem is it does not work. And the question is why it does not work. And it's because the internal battery completely lost the capacity. And if you hook it up on the charger, it shows that it's fully charged but it does not work. So we are going to open it and we are going to replace the AGM battery fitted inside. It's standard six volt battery, lead acid, but in form of the AGM or gel type. So we have to be extra careful because it's very, very important not to, not to break any seals because they will compromise the safety of this flashlight and it should be completely air and water tight and under that protective flap we've got our battery so I'm just going to unscrew okay it's almost done and we will have a full access to our battery and yes it's done, we've got our bulb, we've got our switch, the connector for the, for the charging and our recharge able 6 volt standard battery. So I'm just going to pop it out. Okay, and as you can see here's the, the battery, lead acid, standard recharge able battery. We can prove that it is felt because of the, you can check the voltage and the answer is yes, it's completely dead. Now we are going to put a new one, we can also check the voltage and just like you would expect it is working. Now we are going to put it into the, the hole and we have to be careful for the wires. Okay, our positive and the negative. We have to make sure there is no no rattling and we've got solid connection to do not have any any sparks. Over here we've got a rubber element that's going to hold in place our battery and we have to make sure it is doing a good job. So the battery won't be rattling inside.
and I think yes it will do I will add a little bit of the silicone oil to the straw to just put it easier and next we are going to add the silicone oil on the on the seal okay make sure no wire go in the way and we are going to put it back check if nothing rattle that's very good the bulb have actually a two bulb inside one so that's why we've got a free wire in case you would be interested when you're closing it you have to find a spot when it go like that and I'm going to use a little bit of the silicone oil just to secure the, the seal because we don't want to turn it because that will compromise our safety and seal and there is another seal on the bottom okay and let's put it back Okay, let's check and the answer is yes it's working do both bulb are working yes one bulb and the second bulb okay we have can check does it recharge let me put the power Right now we do not have any indication, but as soon as we drop it, we've got our charging indication, and when the battery will be full, we've got a should have a green charge LED. So let's wait. Okay, so some times elapse, and we've got a green LED showing that our flashlight is fully charged. I can press the button and I can pull it off and we can turn it on and as you can see everything working perfect I can put it back and we've got a charging LED and after a couple of seconds we should start seeing the green LED that will be indicating a fully charged because it will just only supply the the small amount of current that we use for the testing and let's see and as you can see the green LED is just starting to showing up and in a while it will change from red to only green right now we've got both and as you can see we've got a full charge so i hope you find that interesting thank you very much for watching see you next time and bye bye